Got him. Got him. Oh, it's a big one. Got him. Oh. Got him. Oh, another good one. I got him. Oh. Got him. Got him. Got him. Oh. Oh. Oh, got him. Yeah. I got one. Yeah. It was right there. It's a good spotted bass. It's a good spotted bass. Yeah. Oh, I just got this chunky spotted bass right in front of me. Well, good morning, y'all. It is another beautiful early spring day here in Jackson, Mississippi. The nice thing is these cold fronts are being brought by a lot of rain. And um, with all this rain, it's had our spillway uh, really high water or flooded. In this video, I show you how to get on all the river species on a spillway when the hot water's high. Uh, sorry I hadn't been posting much the past week or two. I, uh, <laughs> I actually left my GoPro at a fishing hole and when I went back for it, it, it was gone of course. So, But I got me a new one, so I'm gonna have those videos coming at you soon. Uh, with this flood, I've noticed a lot of shad. Uh, we've had gizzard shad and threadfin, and I've noticed that the threadfin seem to be the preferred target for these uh, predatory fish to eat. And uh, what I've been getting them on are these baits by Big Bite Bait. I like them because they, they imitate that thread fin real well. They got the eye and the dot on there. So I went with some white just because white's always good in the river. And then I went with some that were way more thread fin looking here. Let me get in the sun so you can actually see them. They got the blue and the yellow, just like normal thread fin. And man, they these fish are slamming these up thinking they're those thread fin shad. And I'm gonna show y'all uh, the method I'm, I'm using to catch all these fish. There's only two things I'm looking for when I'm looking for where to throw. Sometimes you can just see them. And when you see the fish, all you gotta do, you know, is just drop that jig down right in front of his face and just, uh, just, just barely dig it. Just like one, two, one, two, three, nothing more than that. Just let it float down. Uh, the other thing I look for is a current seam. Uh, so this current is, is ripping. It's pushing all the bait up against the rocks, but sometimes there'll be a little point on the rocks and uh, that'll create a narrow little seam that uh, these fish will hang in right on the outside of the current. That's what I'm usually looking for. And all I do is just pitch it out, you know, just to the edge of the current seam, usually not more than 10 or so feet. And then I just let it go with the current down. Like, let's say it's going left. Don't even look at my bait right now. Just look at my rod. I just, I just keep it going, just kind of bouncing it, just making sure it stays in there. And if I feel a thump, I, I thump them right back as hard as I can. Uh, if your current, like it is for me in this video, is going left, um, you don't want to pitch. What you don't want to do is pitch way up to the right. Uh, because what's going to happen is your slack, you're not going to feel your bait go into those rocks. But if you pitch it straight out in front of you, or maybe just a hair right, you know, you know, just kind of straight out in front of you, that's where it'll sink and then it'll go left. So anyway, uh, if you like what you see, you should consider subscribing. It's free. It's just one click and it really helps me out a lot. Thank y'all so much for watching. I got way more coming soon, especially now that I got my camera back. So y'all stay tuned. Check out these fish. Oh yeah, right there. He was on the shore, man. I wasn't ready for him. He was, I thought that was gonna be a rock. <laughs> First one of the day, just a little guy, but hey, that was fun. I thought he was gonna be the bass for how little he fought or how little he was and how much he started jumping. Good bad boy. I thought that would be a good bait. Got him. Yeah, right there. He was shallow. I didn't let him pull me at all, though. Nice little drum. Certainly one of that thread fin pattern plastic. There he is. Not huge. Not too small. Probably two, maybe two and a half pounds. Get him back. My man Johnny's on. Yeah, he's using coffee gear. Let's run through the camera for two seconds. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, nice little drum in the morning. Little one? Ooh, find his daddy. Oh, there he is. He ain't big. He didn't fight much, but there he is. A little, a little female, I think. Yeah. Not the size we're going for, but I'll take him. Ah, 
got him. Oh, it's a big one. He was right there munching up shad. Oh, he's ripping drag. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That's what I was looking for, was that big boy munching them shad. Oh, he's huge. Or he's fat. I've caught longer, but that is a fat drum. He was just sitting there munching those shad. I threw that little shad lure in his mouth. And he certainly hit it. This is going off. Yeah, that's better. It's a five or six pound drum. Spawning too. Look how beat up his tail is. Ooh, nothing wrong with that guy. Real pink and purple. Real pretty. Let's see if I can get a thumbnail. Alright. Back in. Alright, let's see if we can get another. Yeah, he feels good. Yeah, got that one. He ain't going nowhere. Pretty good one. Oh yeah, nothing wrong with him. No wonder he felt so good. It's a good job. Oh yeah, long and skinny, hump head. I think these are males that are skinny with the hump on their head. I might be wrong though. There he is. Weird looking guy. Got a. Got a bulbous nose on him. Solid drum though. You keeping drum? You want drum? Yeah, I, I got another spot. I should have a bunch for you. Another good one, yeah. Oh, he came up out the water with it, dude. They're angry this morning. Grab, come on, yeah, dude. They're they're angry today. Ooh, another good one. Yeah, there we go. All right, a little smaller, fatter, but smaller. Oh, that's a lot of fun. A little one, but I got. Him. I didn't miss that one either. Little one. He's too small. We'll get him back. I'm actually surprised I even felt that little guy. Really? Bro, that went down. <laughs> Good one, a decent one. You want that one? Yeah. <laughs> That's the spot. <laughs> man, we are filling this man's freezer right now. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. No, he's just he's just lively. He ain't even that big. Oh, there he is. Tapping it when they hit it, they are slamming it. He's too small, though. Pretty guy, too small. Got him. Oh, oh, that's a big one. Oh, my goodness! Definitely the biggest of the day. Oh, he's ripping drag. He's the first one to rip this morning. Ugh. Oh, he's not even that big. He just fought like crazy. All right. Let's get him unbuttoned and show him off. They certainly like that thread fin pattern plastic. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, 
Got one. Just a little guy. That's probably the smallest one in a while, but hey, he counts. <laughs> What is that? Yeah, rang on him. He, he hit it right as my friend was trying to talk to me. I wasn't ready for him. Yeah, he's a lot better. He's better, huh? Oh, nice. Yeah, Johnny was tearing him up yesterday. He was here earlier. I don't know if he left yet or not. He fought though. Yeah, they yeah, they're sitting right in front of you on the edge of that current. <laughs> Dang. Yeah, they're in that little pocket. Yeah. Little scoop. That, they want that shad right in where the bait balls are. <laughs> yeah, when you pull that fish up, I saw a full on just pool of shad. Yeah. <laughs> they're not they're not hurting either. <laughs> right. Got him, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they don't want it moving much, man. They just want it drifting. <laughs> yeah, I think mean, it's just driven it back and letting it kind of dangle. Yeah. Drifting over them. It's so annoying. We finally figured it out this year, but I only got a few doing it, but drift. Where? I got one. Yeah, it was right there. Oh, it's a bass. It's a good spotted bass. It's a good spotted bass, yeah. I am recording good, yeah. I was about to say, that's a good spot. That's one of the better spotted bass I caught in a minute, dude. That thing is a chunk. But you see, I'm just jigging these shad right in front of me and getting them, man. <laughs> Look at that football, dude. Thing is solid. It's a big old spotted. Pretty guy, too. Whew. Make sure he shows up well. <laughs> oh, I just got this chunky spotted bass right in front of me. Just jigged him off the rocks. Look at the belly on that guy. <laughs> Look at the belly on him. <laughs> that's, 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 a, fish that eats good. that's a fat spotted bass. He was on the very end of it. No, he's sitting there eating that, munching up minners. <laughs> well, I'm gonna, you want him? Nah. All right. We'll release him and get some more shad. <laughs> make sure I show off both of his sides well. Yeah. Oh, actually. I ain't taking a picture of a fish in a while. <laughs> All right, let's get him back. Oh, buddy. Let me know when you're ready. You ready? Yeah. There you go. Yeah, good boy. Sweet. <laughs> Say no more, sir. Say no more. Yeah, I'll take that bed. <laughs> That's hilarious. Now, hell, man. I mean, you let it, you know, he drove. So yeah, there he is. Right, right in front of you. Yeah, dude, he can't, he, he hit it weird. They're sitting right in front of Dan in the current. <laughs> fun, fun, fun. To... That was. Yeah, he wanted to keep that hook. I had it. Look at the little guy. 